Hello there, wonderful Reiki Temple. Welcome to day 20 of our 21 days together. I honestly cannot believe I'm saying already that it's day 20. I remember about 10 days ago, I was recording the content for that day and being like, oh, that was good. I have no clue what I'm going to do the rest of this time. And somehow it all got filled up. And somehow I still feel like there's so much more to go into. However, this was what was wanting to be shared with you these 21 days. And I really hope that so far you've already um, enjoyed, found clarity, whatever there was for you to find this journey um, in the past few days. I'm really curious to hear what has been coming up for you and how you're feeling right now. And as promised today, um, I was going to share a practice that can help you on your way with your soul mission, your soul purpose that we tuned into two days ago. And the key in this, this practice is to keep focusing on being present here now it can all seem so daunting we have this this goal this big thing and when we have achieved that then you know then we are on the right track and then we lose track of all the little steps because they don't seem as important as that big one but the thing is that all those little steps and all the things that you do today, all the things that you do right now, whether they seem significant or not, are absolutely essential for you, who you are and where you are right now, but also for you, future you, which is already with you right now. Remember the mirrors from a while back. Future you is already within you and future you is guiding your way, telling you what steps are here for you today, right now. And this practice was shared with me a few years ago by my uh, spiritual business coach, Flora Ware, and it has been immensely helpful to me because I had this idea of a soul mission, a soul business that I wanted to, to create, I wanted to achieve something and it just so seemed, like I said, so daunting and so big and how on earth will that ever be possible? How will I ever be in a place where, you know, I can do this full time and this is just, this is all I do. And back then it didn't seem possible. The only thing that was possible was to remain with the trust, remain with my heart, with the right now, and also understanding and feeling that it doesn't need to be that perfect vision already. It's a process, it's a journey, and every step of it is beautiful and is, keeps being absolutely beautiful. Just the way this unfolds, it spirals, it waves, it's so dynamic. Either way, off track. <laughs> so this practice is called the Sacred Success Journal. And it's something easy. Um, yeah, very easy, very simple. And, and you can make it as big or small as you like that you can fit into your daily rhythm and rituals. And you do this at the start of every single day. There can be various elements that you add to it or take from them. But I'll share a bit with what I write in this journal every single day. And there are weeks that it don't doesn't seem so necessary. And then there are weeks that this really helps provide the, the focus and the grounding at every morning. So what we do, what I do every single morning before I do anything else is get up. And sit down comfortably on a meditation pillow or my couch or wherever I feel like sitting that moment. 
and tune into my heart and ground myself back down from dreamland. This tuning into the heart is, is like we did on day four or five. can't quite remember which day it was, but one of those days. Just ask my heart for a message. Any message that it wants to tell me today. It can be cryptic. It can be specific. It can be a very general message. Right now, it's actually also telling me something. Be open. Something is coming. What on earth can it be? This is how I start. So the first part of this journal is message of the day. So I write down the dates. Um, if I'm on my moon, I, I write down the day of my cycle I'm at. Um, you can write down the face of the moon we're at. Um, whatever works for you. The, day, the, the time the sun rises that day, the time the sun sets that day. Whatever you feel like adding there at the start that feels significant to you and your path. Um, and then underneath the dates, uh, I write down the heart message. The next point on the journal is my intention for the day. So there we got two. If you feel like pulling some oracle cards, tarot cards, runes, whatever you work with, you can add that to there as well, your daily card. And then we get to the big one, the goals, my big goals. So right now what I've got on there is give birth at home. Um, what was on there, which is taken off right now because it happened last week, was um, birth a sister temple retreat. So that one's off the list right now. Right now pretty much for me it's birth at home. But you know, it can be anything like find a new home in nature. Um, be close to my soul tribe. It can be, you know, business. It can be life things. Just any goals that work for you. Any goals that feel present for you. Any dreams that you have that you want to manifest. And you're just like, oh, I've... Just that would feel so good if that were present in my life. And you just write that down. Realizing that that is already part of the now. Even if it's not part of the physical now. When you've done that, the next point on the menu, and this is actually the most important one, is actions of the day. What actions are you taking today? It can be anything. But just realize, realizing that every small thing that you write on there, these actions for today, are somehow getting you towards those dreams and goals. But they keep focusing on today because every small step counts. So for me for today, what is on there is blend a personal herbal tincture for an order, give a treatment to someone, read a book, and pick up my son from school and enjoy time with him. Simple day today. But again, it can be anything. And there is no, trying to find a word here, there's no better or worse in these actions. Some of these actions might seem insignificant and small details when you look at the big thing. But everything that you do today, that just flows out of you today, is absolutely amazing. It is a divine gift that you're you're sharing with the world. It's it's your physical creation of something, you know, that was in your head. It can be doing the dishes. Doing the dishes can be this wonderful cleansing thing for your house. Just everything has the same grade of importance. Everything is essential. Even laying on the couch and taking a nap can be absolutely essential if this is what your body is calling for. Resting can be the most important thing you do today. Give yourself that Reiki treatment might be also 
a very important thing you do today. We just keep reminding ourselves that we are already here, taking steps, walking our path, walking our soul path, whether it seems like it or not. Everything that is flowing out of us right now is the absolute perfect thing for you to do today. And especially when there's bigger dreams or goals or a purpose that feels like needs, needs being fulfilled. Focusing on those small steps, whether they seem connected or not, can help bring you back to presence and to trust. The feeling that, yes, I am doing the work I need to be doing today. I am listening to my heart. Today I am connecting to my essence, here now. And just connecting to that also every single day. Is, even if it's just for five minutes, even if it's just for 10 seconds, that can be enough. The important thing is that we keep checking back in, keep grounding back in, and more and more, we get to lean into that trust. Trust in our path, trust in ourselves on this path. That we are going the right way. Even if the mind doesn't think we are going the right way, you are. And so at the end of the day, before going to bed, there's one more page you can fill up in this journal. You can either actually write a journal or just write down a few things you were grateful for that day. So ending with gratitude before going to bed. And this is what I'm going to do as well today. Just ending with the gratitude for all of you who are doing this work who are moving deeper and deeper into trust, who are connecting with this energy and allowing it to work through them and for them, who are healing, who are opening, who are showing their vulnerability, who are allowing themselves to feel what needs to be felt. Those who choose to be present, and those who are fighting a very hard battle with themselves at this moment. Very grateful for all of you. And I'm grateful that we've already made it this far. And I know that when we close tomorrow, it won't be the end. For the gratitudes, the energy, and the sacred success journal remains. And they just keep spiraling their wonderful spiral of life. So as always, thank you for being you, for being here. And we'll see each other tomorrow.